So the year is like 1967. I'm in high school. A friend of mine informs me that her father is selling a guitar. And she brings me a picture of this guitar and it looks just like this one here. So that evening, I go to look at the guitar. It looks just like the guitar in the picture. He wants $100 for this guitar. It had the nice brown case, but to my eyes, it looked kind of beat up. Uh, the case was a bit ragged, and in the finish, there was all kinds of cracks and checking in the finish. Let's have a look at a 56 Les Paul Gold Top. A lot of the things are still the same as the previous model, including the gold finish, and you can see the, the cracking and checking in the finish. That's very common in a guitar that old. It still had the P90 pickups, same body shape, but there were some changes. Mainly, down here, the stop tailpiece bridge is no longer there, and we see the appearance of the Tunematic bridge, which lets you uh, better intonate, especially if you use different gauge strings. So that's the story on the Les Paul from 1956. So I had a decision to make, and I decided, well, because of all those cracks and so forth in the finish, I would pass on this guitar, thus saving myself $100. And just what are these things going for these days? Well, here's a rather fine example. And let's see what the price on this puppy is. Why, it's just a mere $99,999. If you had a $1,000 bill, you'd get $1 back. What a bargain. So was this an exercise in stupidity or an exercise in brilliance? I think this will be an easy one for you.